Good day, everyone, and welcome to RPG Maker Hacked, a series where I'll be showing you how to replace every event command in RPG Maker MV and MZ with JavaScript. But I don't know JavaScript. I don't understand how it works. How can I use JavaScript if I don't know how it works? Shh, 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 shh. You're gonna be okay, because I'm gonna walk you through each and every JavaScript command. I'll bring it down for you, and in the end, you'll feel much more confident with using JavaScript in RPG Maker projects. Now, full disclosure, everything I'm gonna go over in this series can be found in a public Google Doc called RPG Maker MV slash MZ Script Calls. It contains every JavaScript call you would ever need to replace every event command in RPG Maker. The purpose of this series, though, is to break it all down, because if you're anything like me, seeing something like this list can feel really daunting. The last thing we want is for JavaScript to feel daunting. So, let's get started. In today's episode, we're going to be going over how to show a text box. To show a text box in RPG Maker, you'd click Show Text, select the face graphic you'd like to use, if any, select the background and window position, then you type in the text and hit OK. Now how would you do that using JavaScript? First, we need to set the face we're using. If you're not sure what the image name is called, go to the project folder and then go to Images, Face, and then find the file you're wanting to use. We're using the face called Actor2. Now let's figure out which face we need. As you can see, there are eight faces in the face sheet, and the one we want to use is number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 but it's not actually face six, because this first face right here is actually face zero, not one. So the face we want is actually face five. Keep in mind that when dealing with JavaScript, zero will always be the starting point, not one. So now that we know that we need, let's put an actor two face ID five. Make sure to put actor two in quotation marks since it's the name of a file. Next up is the background type. Now the options we have are window, dim, and transparent. However, we wouldn't just type out the name of the one we want. Just like the faces have their own IDs, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., the window backgrounds also have IDs. So 0 is window, again, 0 is always the starting point, 1 is dim, and 2 is transparent. We wanted to have the window graphic as the background, so let's do 0. Next is the window position, and again, while the options are called top, middle, and bottom, they have IDs as well. So top is 0, middle is 1, and bottom is 2. So let's choose 2 to get the message box to show up at the bottom of the screen. Side note, if you're using RPG Maker MZ, it has a really cool option to add the name of whoever is talking. We'll call this NPC, like, Java or something. Yeah, Java. Now to be able to get the name to show with JavaScript, you'll do the game message dot set speaker name command and type the speaker's name. And make sure to put the name in quotation marks, otherwise you're gonna get an error message. Now if you're using RPG Maker MV and you'd like to show the name, the best way to do that without some kind of plugin is just Put the name followed by a colon and then the rest of the text. Yeah, that looks totally fine. And next is the actual message itself. You'll need to make sure you put the message in quotation marks and then type whatever you'd like. And there you go. You have now shown a message in RPG Maker using pure JavaScript. Very well done. You should be proud of yourself, especially if this is your first attempt at learning how to use JavaScript. It's a tricky thing to learn, but it's going to be beyond useful to know. So don't give up. Now a couple of notes, if you're used to using the text control characters to edit your message windows like backslash vx to show variable values or backslash cx to change the text color, you can still use these same controls, you'll just need to add a second backslash to the commands. So instead of typing backslash v open square bracket one close square bracket, you would type backslash backslash v open square bracket one close square bracket. And by using this method, all of the same text control characters are going to work the exact same way. Another note, RPG Maker doesn't support word wrapping natively. What that means is if you type too much text on one line of a message window, it just goes off the edge of the window and you can't read the rest of the message. The same thing happens when showing text with JavaScript. So a couple options would be to either use back ticks instead of quotation marks, this way you can just separate the text by hitting enter and it'll work exactly how it would in the show text option. Or you can just create a new line, add the same JavaScript command, game message dot add, and type your new line of text. And that's that. You are now equipped with the knowledge on how to show text in RPG Maker MV and MZ with pure JavaScript. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, let me know what you liked about it, and don't forget to subscribe so you know when the next episode goes up where we'll be going over how to show choices using JavaScript. Thank you so much again, and remember, never stop being creative.